Um, for today's uh, session, um, I'm going to be talking about the um, simulation options available in SAM. I'll start with an overview, um, and then um, and then give uh, jump into SAM and, and give some demonstrations about how to use the the various simulations simulation options. Um, I want to be clear that I'm going to be focusing on techniques for using the features in SAM. We're not going to have time to go into a lot of the theory uh, of either how we implemented them or how they can be applied. OK, so the first concept I want to introduce, um, this should be familiar if, if you've used SAM before. Um, but for those who might be new to the model, um, in SAM we talk about uh, a baseline or base case simulation. And this is the simulation that you you do when you click simulate. So you, you set up uh, inputs on the various input pages. You assign values to the input variables, in, um, either by using the default value or changing a default value to one that, that's appropriate for your analysis. Um, and then you run a simulation, and you get a set of results. Um, so this screenshot shows um, results for a 20 megawatt PV system with no shading. Um, and this screen so it shows the exact same system, but for uh, tw this, the 20 megawatt PV system with, with, with cell shading. So if you focus on the energy loss diagram at the bottom of the screen there, um, as I flip between the pages, you'll see that um, there's a difference. The, there's some shading loss in the second case and not in the first case. So this is you know, a basic way to use SAM, is you, you run a simulation, um, and then you change one or two of the inputs, and then you run another simulation, and then you compare the results on the, on the results page. And this is probably the way most of you are familiar with using SAM. The simulation options that I'll be talking about today provide ways to um, do this in more, more, more sophisticated ways. So, so um, um, you can use the simulation op options to uh, run multiple si simulations um, at a time and then get results for multiple simulations all in one place. Um, another, another technique before I get into the simulation options is, is using multiple cases. So instead of running a simulation, changing an input, and then running a simulation again and, ch and, and comparing the results, you can create uh, multiple cases in your project file. Um, and so in this particular case, I've, I've got the same two cases, um, that our 20 megawatt PV system, one with shading and one with cell shading. But instead of, of changing inputs and rerunning simulations, I created two cases. And let me just show you what that looks like uh, live in SAM. Um, so that's this file. I'll be including. Uh, posting copies of these SAM files, my presentation, as well as a video recording of the presentation um, on, on the webinar page. So you'll have access to these files after, after the webinar. Um, so here are my two cases. Um, the, I can switch between the cases here by clicking the tabs at the top of the window. Um, as I said, the two cases are identical except for the shading inputs. Um, this is, um, a, again, a PV system. And the no shading case uh, has shading mode none. And the self shading case has shading mode self shaded. So when I run simulations in each case, I can then switch between the cases to compare results. So if I want to see this energy loss diagram, I can resize the graph. by sort of hovering over the graph and looking for the corner there and grab the corner and resize it. it takes a little work to do, but um, that's a, a hidden technique in SAM. Um, so anyway, that's using two cases to compare two different scenarios. Now, the simulation options, there are three of them. Um, 
parametrics allows you to assign more than one value to one or more input variables. And um, in the new version of SAM, you use a table to assign values to the input variables. And we'll see how to do that. Um, in a stochastic um, analysis, instead of assigning uh, specific values to the input variable, you assign a statistical distribution and range to the variable. And then SAM calculates the, the range of input values um, and generates results in a table. And then P50, P90 analysis um, is sort of a special case of a statistical analysis where you're looking, exploring uncertainty in your weather data. And that a P50, P90 analysis requires that you have a, a set of single year weather files. Um, the more, the better. So, you, you know, ideally you'd have 30, 40 uh, single year weather files. Um, but you can, you can run P50, P90, um, I think with as, as few as 10 weather files. Um, so, then you, so then SAM runs a simulation for each single year file, calculates uh, key metrics uh, for, for each year, and then, and then uh, shows you the, the P50 and P90 um, value for each, each metric. Again, we'll look at these in more detail in, in, in a moment. Um, the other option now for, for um, parametric and statistical simulations in SAM is, is LK script. So um, in, in older versions of SAM, we had a scripting language called SAMUEL. We've got a new one called LK script that's, that's much better and more powerful than SAMUEL was. Um, and it's, it's sort of analogous to Visual Basic or VBA in Microsoft applications. Uh, it's, it's a script that you run from within a SAM project file. And it allows you to control uh, simulations, set the value of inputs, and read the value of outputs. And it also has a bunch of tools for reading um, and writing to text files and, and manipulating Excel objects if you're on a Windows machine. And, and um, it also includes some um, Latin hypercube sampling functions um, for, for statistical analysis. Um, and then I, I, I want to differentiate the LK script from the SDK or software development kit. So the, the SDK is a completely diff, uh, separate package than SAM. Um, and it's, it's for, if you, for software developers um, who are writing their own applications but want to run SAM um, in the background. Um, and so you could also use the SDK for this kind of analysis. Um, um, but um, that's, that's a, a separate topic that I'm not going to cover here. Um, we're we're going to be offering a, a webinar on LK in a few weeks. Um, so if you're interested in, in learning more about scripting, um, you can register for that webinar. Uh, 